Hi guys, welcome to another episode by Yulan, and today I'll be talking about the genetics of the genetics of cancer. First is the abstract and introduction. Cancer is a genetic disease which originates from mutations in the gene that controls the growth and division of cells. However, not all mutations lead to cancer, and their impact on the body varies. In most cases, only one mutation won't directly lead to the occurrence of cancer, which is more likely to build up over a certain period, as evidenced by older people having cancer more often than younger populations do. This lecture will review the uh, we'll talk about the genes linked with cancer, what research has been done so far, and some future research directions. Cancer results from changes in genes that carry the instructions for producing one or multiple proteins. Researchers have identified numerous alterations in DNA sequences that contribute to cancer cells' onset, growth, and proliferation. The potential reasons behind uh, the changes in DNA include random errors during cell division, carcinogens in the surrounding environment such as chemicals, UV light, and HPV, and inherited genes from one of the parents. As mentioned in the abstract section, even though a single mutation in a gene might not significantly impact the appearance of cancer, the accumulation of genetic changes over the years can transform normal cells into cancer cells. Most cancer cases are believed to occur spontaneously over time due to this cumulative process. Notably, cancer and genetic alterations cannot be passed down to the offspring. Rather, the genetic modification that enhances cancer susceptibility can be inherited if it exists within a parent's egg or sperm cells. For instance, if a parent transmits a muted BRCA1 or BRCA2 gene to their offspring, the child's likelihood of developing breast cancer and several other types of cancer that link with this gene significantly rises. This is why sometimes cancer seems to cluster and have a higher chance of occurrence in families. It's estimated that as much as 10% of all cancers uh, stem from genetic changes that are inherited. There's a rare condition, referred to as family cancer syndromes, in which the gene chance increases the cancer risk that runs in the family. It's crucial to understand that not all cases of cancer clustering within a family can be attributed to family cancer syndrome. For example, Sometimes the prevalence of cancer might be higher in specific families to do shared behaviors or exposures to chemical or carcinogens, such as smoking or other factors like obesity. Cancer can also exhibit a fam familial pattern if family members have a combination of numerous genetic variations, each carrying a risk for cancer. Okay, so now some specific cancer genes linked with cancer. Some genetic mutations are associated with specific genes. The first two introduced here are tumor suppressor genes, designated as uh, tumor suppressors because they shield against cancer. Essentially, they control the growth of tumor cells by governing the rate of cell division to create new cells, rectifying the errors of DNA, and managing apoptosis, which is also known as programmed cell death. With that being said, Alterations in tumor suppressor genes undermine the regulatory, sorry, regulatory mechanism, leading to uncontrolled cell proliferation, ultimately uh, culminating in the development of a tumor. Among individuals with cancer, the most common mutation in the tumor suppressor gene is observed in P53 or TP53. Due to the vital role that P53 plays in regulating DNA repair and cell division, it has been nicknamed the guardian of the, of the genome. In addition to tumor suppressor genes, oncogenes are genes that can transform cell into tumor cell. The two most well-known uh, oncogenes are HR2, wait, sorry, HER2 and the RAS gene family. HER2 creates a protein responsible for re regulating cancer growth. It appears in sp specific cancer cells, particularly in breast and ovarian cancer cells. Uh, HER2 negative classification implies that the HER2 gene is not producing enough essential proteins. On the other hand, the RAS gene family has proteins that facilitate intracellular communication, its expected growth, and the ap apoptosis of cells. Mutations in the RAS gene might prompt original healthy cells to become cancerous. Okay, 
So now comes some of the current research have been done so far. From Nature, the latest research and reviews on cancer genetics focus on topics such as the identification of a two metastasis related prognostic signature in the process of predicting predicting the survival of lar laryngeal squamous cell carcinoma, subclonal accumulation of immune escape mechanisms in microsatellite instability high col colorectal cancers, the clinical impact of the gen genomic landscape and the leukemia leukemogenic trajectories in non-intensively tr treated elderly, acute my myeloid leukemia patients, and more. Oopsies, my pronunciations are bad, sorry. Okay, so what are some future research questions? One of the ongoing research directions is relating inherited risk factors to cancer genomics. Researchers in NCI's Division of Cancer Epidemiology and Genetics, uh, DCEG, are actively engaged in discovering innovative molecular and genomic patterns within tumors that correlate with inherited genetic variations and environmental influences. This strategy aims to uncover previously unidentified risk factors and provide fresh perspectives into the biological process underlying cancer development. Okay, so finally, it's the conclusion. Cancer is a genetic disease due to various gene mutations that control, uh, control the growth and division of cells, including tumor suppressor genes and oncogenes. Current ongoing research by DCEG investigators focuses on innovative molecular and genomic patterns connected with inherited gen genetic variations and environmental influences. And here are my references. Thank you for listening. And if you find this interesting, please 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 subscribe my channel and stay up and stay updated.